Hey, Zach with the ECU Master here. Uh, today we're unboxing one of my favorite products. This is our ADU-5. ADU stands for Advanced Display Unit. Uh, so this is the ECU Master, one of our, our colored dashboards. Um, so these are completely customizable. Let me get it out of the box here and show you what she looks like. So that's our warranty card. These are a little bit of a snug fit in this protective molded insert. Pop the dash out of here. So that's the dash. We do include a, a connector and full set of terminals. And pull the rest of the, the bits out here. We do give you a laminated pinout card and a diagram of the device, which is really handy. Yeah, anytime I'm wiring a vehicle, um, yeah, if I'm doing it quickly, I'll just make notes in Sharpie on the laminated pinout card itself and just leave it in the glove box or in your, your log book if you've got a race car, and that's a good reference for the vehicle. Pop this back in. So the ADU-5 is, uh, it, it's really, it's more than just a display. You know, you can buy some really inexpensive color displays on the market. You know, there are a lot that just show data, which is fine. This is really more a, a tool for, for pretty serious racing. Um, the 85 and 87 both have a lot of brightness. Um, you know, I've, I've got, well, I sold my Exoset, but it was, you know, no top, no windshield, no nothing. And even with a helmet and sunglasses on, I could see that screen full visibility in broad daylight. Um, so that's something that, you know, we market pretty heavily because a lot of other companies don't give you sufficient brightness. And it, it takes a, a fairly expensive screen to do that. So we, we spend good money on the components. If you look at the enclosure, it's beautiful CNC machining. All the surfaces are really nicely finished before it goes to coating. Um, you know, it's machined out of aluminum. We've got four mounting studs on the back here. Um, nice sealed connector. And we do have IP65 versions of these dashes uh, for water resistance. Um, again, beautiful display. Um, I like the five inch in most applications just because you've got limited visibility in your steering wheel. Unless you've got a bigger wheel or if it, the dash is further away from you, um, sometimes it can be really difficult to fit the seven inch. And there's no difference in resolution between the five and the seven inch. So you can use the same layout on either one. The screens have the same resolution. The seven inch is just physically larger. Um, but I love both. The neat thing too, in this housing, you've got 15 programmable LEDs. So I'll always do a progressive shift light up top and then use the ones on the side as warnings or indicators. Um, let's say you wanna use it to indicate your turn signals are on and off. You can use one of these lights to flash or you can do what we've done here, um, like the check engine light here and the battery light indicator. You can have icons on the actual dash layout. So there's no like street version of the dash. There's no you know, different version because you can make the layout whatever you want. So you don't need a different part number for a street or a racing application. Um, you've got full control over the layout. We don't charge you extra for software to design your own layout. It's completely included with the device. It has eight digital inputs, which would be for frequency, like a tack input or a wheel speed input. Um, so you've got eight of those. You've got eight analog inputs, which are for things like pressure sensors, temperature sensors. Um, you can wire switches to any of these um, to change pages on the dash, to start logging, stop logging, um, to you know reset a warning. Um, you can do all kinds of overlays. You can have screens change automatically. If something gets you know, out of range, you can set upper and lower limits for every reading that the dash looks at. Um, this does have CAN bus. It's got two CAN bus networks and serial. Um, so you can receive data from the ECU and over CAN bus, you can send it back. So you can use this as an expansion um, with our ECUs or others and send information to the ECU. So let's say you run out of sensor inputs on your ECU, you can buy a dash and use all the inputs on that and send it over via CAN bus. Um, every dash comes with logging. We don't put physical memory in the device. Um, there's actually a diagram on here to wire up a USB port and you just use a flash drive. So again, it's awesome if you've got an endurance car and you're gonna do driver changes, you don't have to sit there and wait for data to offload and connect the laptop. The driver simply takes his flash drive with him when he gets out of the car, next driver plugs it in, you're good to go. Um, you do get predictive lap timing. You can use our GPS to CAN for that with GPS location and a start stop point. Um, or you can use a beacon or you can simply use a button that the driver hits when they go over the start finish line. Um, what else? Again, you've got full control over the layouts. We've had people do really clever stuff like mimic their factory gauge cluster. If they have something iconic like an M3 that has a really cool gauge layout. You can use our editing software and make your layout look like a factory cluster. Um, again, you know, you can do almost anything. You can change pages automatically if you get closer to red line. Um, you can have it shift over and change your layouts. Um, again, I've, I've spent a lot of time in the, the software editing layouts and really the sky's the limit. So uh, again, there are, like I said, there are simpler dashes on the market. 
but really nothing touches our products for the price point. You've got a huge amount of flexibility, lots of expansion, logging built in, tons of brightness, easy to see. Um, again, one of my favorite products on the market, and that's the EC Master ADU5.